Hey everyone, I'm going to show you today how to uh, simplify radicals using uh, your graphing calculator. So, uh, for example, if we wanted to simplify the square root of 60, uh, this is a smaller radicand, and so we can do it by using a factor tree. So 60 can break down into 10 and 6, okay? 10 breaks down into 2 times 5, and 6 breaks down into 3 times 2, or 2 times 3. So if I wanted to rewrite this, I could say the square root of 60 is equal to 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, okay, times 3, times 5. And anything that has a, a power of 2 is coming out. That base 2 is coming out, so the 2 comes out, and 3 and 5 are powers of 1, so they stay, so I get 2 root 15. So square root of 60 simplifies to being 2 root 15. But what happens if you didn't know factors of 60? Now this is a smaller number, so it's, it's easier. Well, there's a way you can do it on your graphing calculator. Okay, so if I go into y equals, and I, and I want to find factors of 60, I can type 60, and I'm going to divide that by x. Okay, instead of going to the graph, I can just hit second graph and go to my table, and I can look for factors. So notice when I look at positive 6, okay, I could use 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20, 4 and 15, 5 and 12, and 6 and 10. So I have all of these factors are listed. I can pick any two to start with. Okay, so let's say we have something a little more challenging. Okay, so let's, let's look at and, and let's change this up. And let's say we have, I don't know, uh, 539. So I can type in 539, divide that by x. And then I can go to my table and say, well, gee, what numbers multiply to be 539? And I can look, and I can try to find one. So here's 1 and 539. Okay, so I can cursor down. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time to find one. But we're looking for some integers. Okay, and here's one right here. So look, we have 7 and 77. So if I came back here and wanted to simplify the square root of 539, I could say, well, that is 539 breaks down into 7, which is prime, and 77, which is now 11 times 7. Okay, so then I would have the square root of 7 squared times 11, which 7 pops out, and I get 7 root 11. So that's how we can use the graphing calculator to help us just put your the number under the radicand and divide it by x and go to your table to find two whole numbers or integers that are multiples or factors of, of your radicand and you can go from there and create your factor tree. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.